Deputy General Secretary of the MUT, and he's actually got to be in Birmingham in about 40 minutes. So, <laughs> so can I welcome Kevin Courtney, please? This day, the biggest strike that's been in this country for generations the biggest ever strike by women in this country. And we have to know that we are strong. And yesterday, the government gave us the clearest message it could in the autumn statement. Just look at the things that they proposed. Freezing tax credits, an additional 300,000 workers in the public sector to be sacked, on top of 400,000 already scheduled. Bringing forward the rate at which they are going to increase the pension ages so that anyone less than 52 now has a pension age of 67. Breaking up an additional two years, a percent of women support your strike action today. An astonishing 80% of young people supporting the strike action. Those young people know which side their bread is buttered on. If we all have to work till 68 or 70, there are going to be no jobs for young people. That's, you know, the one million youth unemployment is a real message from the government. They lie when they say we're all in it together. We tell the truth when we say we are in it together. We have to stand together. Now, they say that we shouldn't be striking now because negotiations are still ongoing. I represent the teacher unions in the negotiations with government. I've been to every meeting with the government ministers since they started in February. They're still refusing to carry out the valuation of the teachers' pension scheme or the valuations of any of the other schemes. They offer no negotiations, absolutely none, on the amount of contributions that they're asking us to pay. They offer no negotiations, absolutely none, not even any consultation on the change in the CPI indexation, which steals 15%. And we've seen the way they are responding on the question of the age increase. So when they say we're wrong to go on strike because negotiations are ongoing, they are absolutely wrong. We are right to strike and we'll be right to strike again if they don't give way and they don't give us our pension back. They say we're living longer. Well that's true for some and it's true in the population as a whole. But it doesn't mean that you can carry on working forever. I don't want to be carried down a firefighter's ladder by a firefighter aged 60. It won't work. A nurse aged 66 isn't going to be able to give somebody a bed bath and physically move them around. A teacher 
isn't going to be able to take a class at 69. It just won't work. A refuse collector won't be able to carry bins at age 70. And it's not, I'm right to say 70, it isn't that they're saying that you'll have to work till 68 if you're a 34 year old or younger. They're saying that now, but they have plans to bring those age changes forward so it's for older people and they have plans to make them higher. If you were listening to Radio 4 this morning, you'll have heard a commentator they're seriously saying that they intend the state retirement age to be 70 for people who are currently in their 30s. These people are crazy. They do not understand the lives that we live. They don't understand the day-to-day -day life of a teacher, and we are the only people who can tell them. It's our action, united today, ATL, NASUWT, NUT, NAHT, our Scottish colleagues, the unison, GMB, all of us taking action together. That is what give, that's what's going to give the population this country the message they need to do.